definition true crime community. True crime community has been infiltrated. True crime king. Back. Start this video off by discussing the alleged underage drinkers that were stopped on the band field at 3 a.m. by the undercover police officers. It was the weekend, it was 3 a.m., and these boys were walking from point A to point B, and they couldn't do it. Not without being stopped by undercover police officers that weren't wearing uniforms and weren't driving a police car. At least not marked, anyways. What's up, guys? True Crime King. Back. How we doing today? Hope everybody has a great weekend. Anyway, it's been a while since I did a drippity droppity, uh, crimey circus boomity boomity, uh, reaction. So, that's what I'm gonna do. Uh, had a couple subscribers, uh, want me to, uh, react to, uh, one of this, this video here that I'm going to react to. The title is, Idaho 4 Booms. Brian Koberger, investigation, exclamation point. Documentary series, exclamation point. And, okay, so Drip Drop starts off the video by basically confirming that these boys are not the suspects. Uh, you know, they're not out of breath. They don't look at all like they just committed any kind of murder. So, and I know that because I'm convinced that Brian Koberger is the, is the uh, prime suspect. So, keep uh, proving my case for me, Drip Drop. I'll let, you, I'll let you do it. Here we go. It was just a regular looking Ford Fusion. And these police officers were just regular looking guys with flashlights. I've studied this video hundreds of times. And every single time I watch it, it becomes so much more clear. These boys were 1,000% sober. Keep in mind, these are probably just Idaho um, University security security guards, right? They're most likely probably not uh, full-fledged police officers. And even if they are, they explain here in a second why they're not driving police cars. Sober, sober, sober. You think? No, I'm okay. So, I got you. Location here and the rest of information right here. But so, why were they stopped and cited for underage drinking? They weren't in possession of any alcohol. They certainly didn't look intoxicated. They weren't slurring. They weren't stumbling. They weren't tipsy. They weren't getting all touchy feely with each other. What? They were well behaved. They were polite. They were well spoken. So on and so forth. They seemed like regular sober people. Because that's exactly what they were. I don't know why Drip Drop's making a, a big a freaking deal about why they were stopped. I mean, they were stopped. Okay? Uh, it has nothing to do with the murder, as far as I'm concerned. So, and he's not making any points. He's just trying to argue whether um, they should have been stopped or not. And, I mean, it has nothing to do with the murder. I mean, who cares? Undercover. <laughs> well, it's trying to save gas. They downgraded us from patrol cars. Gotcha. <laughs> they gave us hybrids to save on fuel. So, there. They just tell you uh, they gave them hybrids to save on fuel. And they downgraded them. And then, you know, of course, Drip Drop has to put up his shore, you know, because everything with him is a conspiracy, right? Give me a break. That's a perfect, perfect, uh, reasonable, you know, um, explanation on to why they're driving that, that car not, and not a police car. Hello? So, what in the world is going on in Moscow, Idaho? Why, out of all people that you could be harassing at 3 a.m., would you be harassing these boys? They seem like good college students. So, likely what's going to happen? Yeah, maybe because that's all that goes, that's all that really goes on. There's, I mean, except for this one big murder that has occurred, 99% of the time, these guys are probably just uh, giving tickets to underage 
drunk kids. That's that's what they do. Hello. It's a it's a college campus. Drip drop. What don't you understand about that? I mean, why does everything have to be a conspiracy, right? Give me a break. Because you're all underage. Um, what uh, what grade are you guys in? What year are you a freshman? You guys are all freshmen. Yeah. Okay. So. Yeah, I mean, it's perfectly reasonable for them to stop if they if if the cops thought they were drinking. Um. You know, they're just pulling them over. They're not allowed. They're not of age to be drinking. They're just making sure they're not drunk. Hello? That's all they're doing. They're doing their job. Right? They're doing their job. You guys going to hang out for me? I know it's cold. I apologize. We'll try to get through this quick again. Did they really need this on their record? No. No. No, they didn't. No. Did Do you really need to be talking about this on your channel? They need to be part of this public. No, you don't. Like record that we're all analyzing at the exact same time that the worst brutal slaying of Moscow history happened. Hmm. What a coincidence. And what are the? Give me a break. You see what I mean? Here, here he goes with his stupid conspiracy theories. I mean, what are you trying to say, Drip Drop? I mean, what? The if these cops were somehow involved uh, or or the what i don't I, that makes no sense to me whatsoever the odds i'll tell you the odds 5.37 octillion to one and you know that's true when i see the odds of what they're making they're doing a, a random uh stop on su suspected uh tr drunk underage kids i mean Hello? What What is the problem here? This undercover cop car and I see these undercover cops. I say, it's us to us. Boom. The whole thing seems like a distraction to me. I mean, serious. A distraction? Nobody even knows that the murder has occurred yet at this time. What are you talking... How could this possibly be a distraction? Nobody knows... Uh, what? Why did that one police officer take a picture of Kaylee's ID? Yeah, thank you. I appreciate it. This, this was way back from months before the murders. He's taking a picture of the ID because they're at the house, for, you know, investigating something else. Hello? That being said... Warnings. Don't do it again. Yep. I think you come back. Instead of that makeup and shit, you should just put on a tin foil hat, drip drop. A few hours and a half. Any questions for me? No. Warnings. Don't do it again. Yeah. Thank you. Have a good day. I have never seen a police officer take a photo of someone's ID. Sus. Super sus. No, it. Yeah, it's so sus. He's just trying to sell more merchandise. Give me a break. Is. If anybody wants to challenge me or question my opinion, I'm up for that because. The That's what I'm doing right now, Drip Drop. That's what I've been doing. What do you mean you're up for that? Let's debate. Hello? This is an opinionated guessing show, so you can't prove me wrong. But me. Well, I'm trying to. You can't prove me wrong either. <laughs> you know what I mean? Give your thoughts down in the... I mean, it seems like uh, I can get bashed for, for saying and going with the evidence and speaking facts. But, but if I try, you know, if I try and come back at you guys that think he's innocent, right? I can't bash you guys, you know? Give me a fucking break comment box those boys brian koberger's dna is underneath madison mogan's dead body not one person when i ask that question can come up with a reasonable explanation right you just you just try and attack me personally or or, or just uh, say something stupid right you can't address the question right 
Any any legitimate question I ask, you just change the subject. Every single one of you guys. We're sober, 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 sober. This whole interaction. So what? This has nothing to do with the murders. Action was wrong. None of those people should have been bothered. Even the guy with the bushy eyebrows that was in possession of closed containers. Okay. Okay. I I agree with that. Maybe I. Who cares? They, they should have been, they shouldn't have been. Okay, whatever. Hello? Let's get, let's get to the, uh, the actual, you know, Ida for Brian Koberger. I'm gonna grab your info just because you got beer and you're walking around with it. No, it's just closed. But... Okay. And the police stopped him because he's, he's carrying around what, from a distance, looks like a beer can. I mean, come on. If, if if I was a police officer, I would have stopped him too. He doesn't know if that's a beer can or not. <laughs> no, you're good. I live like right there. I'll take it back for you. No, we're just doing alcohol enforcement and running around with beer across the street. All right. That's their. He just said they're doing alcohol enforcement. Oh, it's 3 a.m. They see, they see some uh, underage kids walking around with what looks to be a beer can. They're doing their job, drip drop. Maybe it's not a freaking conspiracy. You dumb clown. You're good. You're good. You're good. He was 21 and they still held him up for way too long. The whole situation was unnecessary, and it raises more questions than answers. And Moscow PD released this video for us to search for clues. And search for clues we did. And I think it's starting to become very clear. The clues aren't what they thought we were going to find. Because we're smarter than they thought we were. Now let's talk about clickbait lies. Clickbait is shameful. Lying is shameful. Anybody... So far, this 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 video is is total clickbait. Covering this case that does clickbait lies is disgusting, and you know that's true. I get comments having to try to clear up things every single day. I mean, we're five minutes into the video, and I haven't heard Brian Koberger's name once. One of the that's what this video is supposed to be about that sticks out to me in particular but drip drop what about when he was arrested and he asked has anybody else been arrested no proof he never said that brian koberger never ever asked has anybody else been oh i just heard brian koberger's name arrested one and only one person on the entire planet has ever made this claim and from what people have told me he's known for doing clickbait he's known to do anything for review. He's known to be a liar. That's what people tell me. Oh my God. I wouldn't know one way or the other, but that's what people tell me, that he's a liar. I've scanned the court documents. I've read the arrest paperwork. That's something that would have been in the PCA in Idaho if he said that in Pennsylvania. He never said it. You gotta remember, not everybody involved in this case has good intentions. Okay, I haven't, I haven't, uh... I'm gonna I'm gonna fact check this myself, but because uh, I I obviously definitely do not trust uh, Drip Drop because he he obviously he's he's totally biased, right? Um, if 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 Brian Coburn came out tomorrow and said that he committed the murders, I guarantee a Drip Drop would uh, would say that he was forced to say that or or come up with some other conspiracy theory, right? It's just totally ridiculous. He's got one objective, and that is to just uh, try and say that Koberger's guilty, no matter what, right? I mean, he won't address any of the actual evidence in this case, right? Not all of us are human Quite a few of the people reporting and investigating. I mean, his DNA's under the dead body, and 
He just wipes that underneath the rug. Doesn't talk about it. Oh, it must it must have been planted, right? It must have been planted. Uh, give me a break. In this case, seem to be demonic reptilian creep. Why would anybody have any reason at all to frame not just anybody, but Brian Koberger, who the police have never arrested before, have never even heard of until they did a genealogy test and found his DNA. That you know, and then oh, Koberger's out in his in his underwear, taking taking his trash out in the middle of the night with gloves on. I mean, I can keep going, right? But this guy doesn't want to, you know, talk about any of any of that, right? Oh, the neighbors see Koberger cleaning his car inside and out. He had Koberger had over a month to clean his car, and some of you say, "Oh, you can't get it rid of of DNA." What do you mean? You scrub it with bleach, it's gone. Uh, it, it, give me a break. Creatures. Yeah. So, if you want to make the claim, prove it. I mean, how do you think the crime scene techs or, or, or the people that clean up crime scenes get rid of the blood and, and, and make the house so you can come in again? Hello? <laughs> I mean... Some of you guys are just ridiculous. Anonymous sources don't count. An anonymous source can never, ever be trusted. Because nobody's putting their face or name behind the claim. So prove the claim or be forever shamed. I've been calling out Drip Drop for almost a year now. And he just said, Oh, if any of you want to challenge me, let's go, you know. And he won't. I mean, how many times do I have to do a, a reaction to, to and, and challenge you, Drip Drop? I'm putting a face to my name, and I have been. Hello. Uh, my email is right in my is right in the uh, description on my channel. I'm very easy to get a hold of, or just leave a comment. Hello. Let's debate, Trip Chop. Let's talk about the actual facts. I'm calling you out. Here, Crime Circus, we can't be shamed because this is a guessing show and we don't lie. And he keeps saying this is a guessing show, okay? So, a, a lot of you, you don't, uh, you must uh, just skip over when he says that, right? He admits this is a guessing show, guys. Okay? And and thousands and thousands of you are taking what he says as fact. Okay? He keeps telling you he's guessing. He doesn't know what he's he doesn't know. Okay? He's guessing. That's what he that's all he's doing. Okay? He's trying to stir the pot, okay? These are not facts that he's saying. So a lot of you need to get that through your heads, okay? He's guessing. He just told you, and he tells you all the time, okay? And a lot of his videos, he puts up that that little uh, disclaimer that says everything he says is just guessing for like a half a second, okay? Uh, hello? Tweeting that Brian Koberger asked if anyone else has been arrested is a lie. That's a shameful lie. And now half the planet believes Brian Koberger asked if anyone else has been arrested. I am so thankful for my high IQ audience. And I know that this video would clear up a lot of questions for you. He never... What questions is this cleared up, Trip Chop? I mean, you just said you're guessing on everything. And you admit you're guessing on everything. Right, you have one agenda, and that agenda is to just stir the pot and make everybody believe Koberger is innocent. When there's overwhelming evidence 
that, that says and proves otherwise. There's not one other suspect. Not one. Not one. Give me a name of one other suspect that has any evidence supporting that theory. You can't. And nobody can. Okay? So, I mean, this is just ridiculous. Drip drop. Uh, let me know if, if you want to debate me. Um, I'm, you just asked. You just said, uh, hey, let's go. Have a great Christmas, everybody. Until next time. True Crime King, out.